Hey guys, today Apple has officially released iOS 11.1 Beta 3 to registered developers. Now the download was relatively small, 154 megabytes coming from Beta 2 to Beta 3. Now public beta testers, you'll probably see this later today or tomorrow at the latest. So going into settings here and about, I want to show you the build number which is 15B50868. It is a long build number telling us that we could see a few more betas before its official launch. Now today is the 16th of October. We could see another beta on the 23rd to 24th with the fourth beta and then the fifth or gold master copy of 30th to 31st of October. We know that the iPhone 10 it's going to make its debut releasing on November November the 3rd and that software could be the main software running on the iPhone 10. Now we'll have to wait and see but most likely 11.1 .1 is going to be on the iPhone 10 not 11.0.3 or anything like that. So let's go ahead and wait and see what Apple does in terms of software. One thing that I did want to point out was that we still have yet to get the iMessages in iCloud. So that setting is still not present on either of these two devices beta 2 or beta 3 and we don't have the peer-to-peer -peer payments within iMessages enabled either so those settings are still yet to be enabled before the official launch I'm pretty sure Apple's going to be enabling those and they're internally testing the peer-to-peer -peer payments with the Apple retail employees if you want to go ahead and watch that video I'll link it down below I have a full video devoted to peer-to-peer -peer payments on Apple Pay another thing I did wanted to point out that when you go to settings and display accommodations one thing that I wish Apple would do is to change the invert color here when we go into the smart invert and make it so safari which show the proper colors giving us some sort of a dark mode because we do have proper colors when we go here to this panel here you see that the icons uh, will change uh, depending on uh, the smart invert or invert colors that you have enabled you see here the colors for the icons pretty much match what they should as well as the news uh, icons here the news previews you see here the proper colors showing on these uh, particular sections here. But when we actually go to see the content, it doesn't show proper colors in Safari. I don't know why that is. In certain aspects of the OS itself, doesn't really show the proper colors. I wish they would fix this at least for Safari. I believe this is an application update that they can do. Other developers are taking advantage and using Smart Invert as dark mode by adjusting their applications. But anyway, guys, you already know that the battery test is coming your way. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking about how's the battery? Is it improved or not? Well, of course, I'm going to be testing that. I'm going to be comparing beta 2 versus beta 3. Hopefully, that video will be up tomorrow, the latest on Wednesday. But anyway, guys, be sure to stay tuned. A short video today, just letting you guys know the latest beta is out. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.